Whenever you have an idea that you want to turn into a SaaS product, where do you start? The first thing you need to do is validate that idea through some market research. If the research shows potential, the next step is to build the MVP, your minimum viable product. Now, MVP is a common term in the tech industry, but sometimes it's challenging to get everyone on the same page about what it actually means and what it should include. So here at Avtron, we've developed a clear philosophy on how we approach MVPs. So let's start from the top. It all started with your idea. You've done some initial validation through market research. You've identified your niche. You've defined your target audience. You've also established your unique value proposition that sets you apart from your competitors. You also have a clear roadmap to guide you forward. All of this provides an excellent foundation, but to really know if your idea will work, you need to test it by building an actual product. And product development can be expensive and resource intensive. It's crucial to minimize risk by avoiding unnecessary investment in unproven ideas. This is why we start with a validation phase. The version of the product that you deliver during this phase is the MVP. How long should it take to release your MVP? Well, it depends on the complexity of the problem you're solving. But remember, since we're in the validation phase, prioritizing speed to market is key. The sooner you get your MVP out there, the quicker you can start learning from real users. And it's important to understand that the MVP is not the final product. Think of it as a stepping stone, a way to learn and iterate based on real user feedback. Iterating on user feedback is the tried and true method to achieve product market fit. This is how you know with certainty that the product you're building meets the needs of your target market. Now, using the data that you've gathered, your niche, your target audience, your UVP, and the core problem that you're solving, you'll define the initial scope of your product by focusing on a minimal set of requirements. At this point, if you ever find yourself or maybe a product owner pushing to add extra features beyond what is necessary to validate the main idea, you need to take a step back. Because remember, you're just at the validation stage. Additional features can always be added later once you've onboarded some early adopters and refined the product based on their feedback. All right, so the MVP is your first shot at seeing if your idea has legs. So get it out there, learn fast, and iterate until you hit product market fit. And in the next episode, let's go beyond just theories. I'll break down everything that I've discussed in this video and put it to the test with fullstackengineering.io, the freelancing platform that we're building. And you'll see exactly what an MVP looks like when we go from theory to practice. All right, so let's end this here. I wanna thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.